While many skeptics claim that the electric motorcycle industry has reached a plateau, manufacturers all over the world show no signs of slowing down. So today, we have a fresh batch of the hottest e-bike news and debuts. Oper in City Oper Motorcycles is an electric motorcycle startup from Brazil that has taken on a mission of creating an urban commuting vehicle that will be both affordable and high-tech. The company is currently running performance tests at the racetracks and is targeting such technical specifications. A 48-kilowatt motor with an 88.5 pound-feet torque figure and either a 6 or a 9-kilowatt-hour battery. With such components, a 0 to 60 mile per hour sprint takes 4.2 seconds and the top speed is 90 miles per hour. The range is either 60 or 100 miles depending on the chosen battery. Among the already announced features, we would like to point out a handy storage compartment that could hold up to 37 liters of cargo, an advanced vehicle control unit that manages all security and safety features, an advanced permanent magnet-free electric motor developed by the company's strategic partner called Enadyme, and a series of components that will ensure rider safety and awareness on the road, namely an ABS system and traction control, plus a unique haptic seat and a smart lighting technology. The brand's inclination to use the latest technology is further complemented by the use of an intelligent instrument cluster that will display essential performance metrics and let you track vital information in real time. DAB1 Alpha X It was only a matter of time before this French manufacturer of sleek electric supermotos announced a new model. This time, it's an electric scrambler that adopted rugged components but didn't fully abandon the brand's luxury aesthetics. One Alpha X has a clean, blacked-out look, knobby Pirelli tires on 17-inch spoked wheels, premium adjustable suspension with TIN gold treatment, upcycled carbon fiber fenders, Brembo brakes, and a handcrafted Alcantara seat. This 275-pound machine uses an 11-kilowatt motor and a 7.1-kilowatt-hour battery. With a peak 25.5-kilowatt output, the motor grants an 80-mile-per-hour speed, while a 90-mile distance can be covered before the battery charge runs out. Trevor Motorcycles Vince The Belgian Trevor Motorcycles, known for making lightweight, minimalist e-bikes, announced their second model called the Vince. The model debuts with scrambler aesthetics, a blacked-out body with an upright seating position, and wide handlebars. Targeting riders who want to combine urban commuting with occasional off-road getaways, the Vince uses an 11-kilowatt motor and a 5-kilowatt-hour battery pack. The motor peaks at 22 kilowatts, transferring its output through a Gates belt drive and promising upwards of 60 miles of whisper quiet rides. Ultraviolet Tesseract and Shockwave India's Ultraviolet is the biggest newsmaker in the industry as more and more information about the brand's expansion strategy is unveiled. At the latest event, two future models were shown, the Tesseract Maxi Scooter and the Shockwave Off-Road Ready Bike. The Maxi Scooter is jam-packed with innovations, namely an integrated safety radar, a dash cam that enables features like real-time collision alerts, and a 7-inch touchscreen TFT display that gives you access to the smart assistant called Violette. The Shockwave wants to become a zero-emission replacement for traditional two-stroke models. It features 19-inch front and 17-inch rear spoked wheels, dual-channel ABS, a four-level traction control, and either a single or a dual-seat setup. The powertrain provides six levels of regen and produces 10 kilowatts of output. 
This is more than enough for this 264-pound bike to reach 75 miles per hour. Grizzlar EMX30 A young company from Germany is planning on outperforming gasoline rivals with its low-voltage electric powertrain. Destined to be used on the EMX30 motocross bike, this powertrain pushes out 30 kilowatts and up to 664 pound-feet at the rear wheel. This torque figure is achieved with a manual two-gear transmission and a water cooling system with a radiator in the rear frame. Unlike other e-bike manufacturers that try to raise the voltage, Grizzlar uses a 48-volt architecture that lowers production costs and ensures safe use and maintenance. Finally, the bike boasts a comparatively low weight of 253 pounds, considering its hefty 6.1 kilowatt-hour battery. Dirt Freak GE N3 This oddly named product from Japan reiterates the country's admiration for small mopeds. Prepared for the EV era, the GE N3 provides a dual-sport approach to daily commuting. It's built on a lightweight aluminum frame, has 17-inch front and 14-inch rear wheels, a 31.1-inch seat height, and a weight of just 127 pounds. The moped's rugged build makes it equally suitable for urban riding with occasional potholes and weekend camping getaways. The mid-mounted motor peaks at 2.8 kilowatts, enabling riding speeds up to 34 miles per hour. The 72-volt, 24-amp-hour battery is rated for 60 miles of riding at a moderate speed. The real-world range, however, is estimated at 35 miles. iLight's Rocket One Although many conceptual models are criticized for rarely making it to production, but how else are manufacturers supposed to make headlines and excite the common folk about the newest inventions? The French iLight's company is not a new name in the motorcycling industry. The company has been developing a smart heads-up display for motorcycle helmets for almost a decade now. The brand's first motorcycle elevates the heads-up display experience to new levels and develops an unseen-before augmented reality. On the motorcycling side of things, the Rocket One gets an attention-grabbing design with Neo Cafe Racer influences, smooth bodywork, and a bold lighting signature with a massive round LED headlamp, and an oval rear light with an illuminated logo in the middle. The mid-mounted motor peaks at 134.2 kilowatts, putting out 885 pound-feet of torque at the rear wheel. With this output, the initial acceleration of 60 miles per hour is projected at 2.6 seconds while the claimed range is announced at 248 miles. Curtis Motorcycles 1 and Core 60 Speedster If we had to speak in terms of cars, then this product offers Bentley levels of luxury, Rolls-Royce-like attention to detail in making bespoke designs, and instant acceleration worthy of Tesla's ludicrous mode. The one by the Alabama Curtis Motorcycles is exclusively produced in low numbers, offers lots of proprietary tech, and boasts the highest end components. The futuristic exterior of the bike tastefully mixes polished metal, leather, and carbon fiber, but every buyer is welcome to add a personal touch. The Muscle e-bike is built on the company-developed triple load path, MonoQ, where the battery acts as a structural element and a load-bearing member. The suspension features modular carbon fiber girders and fully adjustable monoshocks. The bike's 16.8 kilowatt hour pack feeds the most energy-dense motor on the market. It's able to produce 159 kilowatts and 272 pound-feet. 
though continuous output is restricted to 89 kilowatts and 147 pound-feet peak output. Finally, the brand has recently teased the upcoming Core 60 Speedster bike that will blend bold design choices with a raw power output that many expect from a true American motorcycle. White Motorcycle Concepts WM CSRS it's common for motorcycle manufacturers to look for new ways to increase power yields and lower energy consumption. While many are still trying to make a breakthrough in engine construction, the UK-based White Motorcycles Concepts is trying to solve this issue through extreme aerodynamics. Several years ago, the company developed and patented the V-Duct design that reduces motorcycle drag by 70%, thus improving the efficiency and range. This year, they partnered with Zero Motorcycles to produce the WM CSRS. The cooperation with America's best e-motorcycle company resulted in a modified Zero SRS. Now it features an aerodynamic duct running through the middle. With a stock powertrain, brakes, and suspension system, the modified Zero SRS reportedly gained 10% in aerodynamic efficiency while lowering the weight. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates, and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again, and till next time!